This is a demo of my Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jazzmaster. This one's a Fender Special Run of Shell Pink. Um, it is stock. The only thing is that I've changed is I shim the neck to get the bridge up a little bit and also to get the strings a little bit closer to the neck. I also added some more foam under the pickups because the pickups were a little lower than I like to have them. I like to have them a little bit closer to the strings. As you can see, the I keep the bridge pickup about parallel as far as these little tabs with the pick guard. And then this one I have up a little bit higher, closer to the strings. Um, the fretboard on this is really nice and dark. I don't think this is Palfaro. I'm pretty sure this is Rosewood, even though I know that people will probably say it is. I do have a Palfaro neck, not downstairs, but a Mexican made one, and it's much oranger. This is much more brown. So I'm pretty sure it's Rosewood. Maple neck. It has Cluson style tuners. Um, it comes stock with this Mustang style bridge, which I really like. The string spacing is really nice. As you can see in here, the E's aren't too close to the edges, and it's straight down the center as far as the string alignment. Um, let's see, things that I've changed. When I took all the plastic off, they had it set so that the tightening holes for the wheels were out when it was at full volume. I prefer them to be down so that you don't see them unless you turn the volume down, because I usually keep this up anyways. That's just a personal preference thing. Um, like I said, I shim the neck, and I put 11s on it. Otherwise, it's stock. I didn't change any of the pots, any of the pickups, any of the switches. They are the smaller sw um, smaller uh, pots that you get in import stuff normally. And there is shielding inside, but just on the bottoms of the cavities mostly, nothing really on the sides. Um, but it is grounded with a there's a screw into the body here underneath the pickup that runs a ground wire for the shielding. So it is grounded. And so is the bridge. As you can tell, I'm in middle position with my volume up pretty high. You can still hear some hum in the middle position. I'm guessing shielding. Um, but also, I mean, Jazzmaster pickups are really big and stick outside of the body anyway. So it's kind of normal for there to be a little bit of noise with single coil pickups. They're not humbuckers. Um, I'll go through different sound settings. And, yeah, it's just so people can hear what they sound like. Oh, and the pick guard has a really nice look to it. It doesn't look printed to me. It looks very nice. And it's nice and dark red. So, start off on the bridge. might hear the bridge and say that's brighter than I want use a tone pot so if you know full up is too bright Shave off some of the brightness. Middle position.
position is typically my favorite position with a Jazzmaster anyway, but this one sounds great. With the stock pickups, stock electronics, everything stock. Uh, neck pickup, a little bit of noise, you know, because single coil. Sounds good. Um, the typically unused jazz setting neck pickup through the 1K and 50K tone pod. Again, this is all stock stuff. I like these stock pickups because sometimes when you go into this section, the neck pickup gets so muddy that you can't do chords really because it, it sounds too bassy. But these being a little bit brighter, um, I think that they're based off of Antiquity Ones, if I was to guess. I know they're, they're the same kind of Duncan Design ones that were in the other Classic Vibes. I took them apart. It has the same sticker underneath. So I think they're supposed to be import created Antiquity 1s, which are brighter than the Antiquity 2s in my experience. Um, I think that the nice thing about the brighter pickups is that when you go into this section here, it's not too muddy. actually makes this more usable and of course you know the volume and the tone work like brighter pickups I mean these sound good to me I like brighter pickups then you'll probably be happy with it stock if not you might want to switch to antiquity twos to darken it up or some other version that you like better but I actually quite like this one kind of as it is I don't feel like I want to mess with it since everything seems to work the tremolo works the arm stays in place I can do my and it comes back to tune exactly all the stuff I build myself does and as nice as some of the other stuff that I've built. Um, I haven't found anything that I didn't like other than all the plastic wrap that was on everything that took, I had to take it apart to get all the plastic off of it but um, yeah that's just trying to keep it from getting scratched up I think before the owner gets it so it's just protective stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, Oh, I was playing through my Gaia Tone bass amplifier that I got. It's a vintage one. Um, controls, I've got bass at 6, middle at 10, treble at about 6.5, um, through my 212 twin cabinet that I took the head out of. So, pretty cool.